Ole, 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 and welcome to All Your Living Needs. I'm your host, Jono, and this is the Major League Soccer 2014 predictions for Sporting Kansas City versus LA Galaxy. The time of the event is going to be Saturday, July 19th, uh, 6 p.m. Eastern. Let's look at the previous meetings that they've had. Um, there have been five meetings uh, dating all the way back to 2010. Two wins each with one tie. The most recent was April 20th, 2013, where LA won against Sporting Kansas City 2-0. Season stats. Um, we are looking at uh, Kansas City has played 17 games. LA Galaxy has played 14 games. Sporting has won 7 to LA's 5. Um, of course, this is early on Saturday uh, prior to them playing this weekend. The losses, Sporting has lost five to uh, LA Galaxy's three, and draws have been five to six. So what do we know about Sporting Kansas City? Uh, so Matt Bessler is a major focus here in this conversation because he did so well at the World Cup that uh, he is now being, uh, there is talk of potential transfer to the, either the English Premier League, League or the uh, Bundesliga in Germany. So he sat down with the ownership of the Sporting Kansas City to have this conversation. I think that this is going to be uh, critical in what's actually going to happen here because he understands that there's a very unique time frame, very unique uh, possibility here. If he can really prove himself, and this game is a perfect example of proving both leadership and skill, he will be able to come back to the table and say, uh, Bundesliga and English League are want me for this amount, I want to stay here, and this is a great negotiation opportunity for everybody. And so I think that if Sporting really has uh, both this weekend and uh, the following weekend a great uh, number of wins, and it's clearly because of the high, you know, the the important factors on the team, the players on the team. Uh, he will have more manageability. So I think that, that that's going to be a, a key piece. Now, one thing to remember is that uh, Eric Cronenberg has been injured. But I've been saying all along that that's actually going to inspire uh, Kansas City to really defend the goal. Even though uh, what I'm hearing about Andy uh, Grunenbaum, and I apologize if I've destroyed that name, um, is also an excellent goalkeeper. I just don't think that he has the number of hours in front of the goal as much as Eric did. So I think that <clears throat> Sporting's defense is going to be very tight. And so against the LA Galaxy, who we've already kind of discussed in other uh, in other sessions in this uh, on this channel, is. Uh, is, is having a difficult time finding itself, right? Um, we've got Omar Gonzalez is uh, still dealing with injuries at the World Cup. Um, we've got Donovan, who, despite being the all-time record-setting goal uh, scorer, um, wasn't on the World Cup roster. And, uh, you know, again, my feeling is that Klinsman kind of saw something or knew something and maybe, uh, you know, maybe it's towards the end of Donovan's career. Um, he has been playing for an exceptionally long amount of time. And uh, probably the most shocking thing was the recent U.S. Open where they lost to a third division, I believe it was third division uh, team. And uh, I'll talk about that a little later. So what am I seeing for this game? Well, you know, I think that Sporting is going to win this, and I think it's going to be a 2-1 to one for them. So that's that. Uh, please subscribe. We are trying to build this channel. And uh, 
Facebook and like it and tweet it out there and message me and comment me, talk to me about what you think about this channel and if you like it. And uh, ole, ole, ole. Have a safe and happy week. Cheers. Thanks so much.